so we're back at it again uh, with a whole new locker and much like the other one we just did not too long ago with all the scrap metal we still don't have a trailer or a truck for all this and this is a jam-packed 10 by 15 unit we didn't win the auction on this but the company reached out to us and made us an offer so i was like all right let's let's do it it's got to be good but here's a Here's a quick glance of everything. I think it was the paintball helmet that made me think maybe there's more paintball stuff in this case. And we saw the leather jackets and thought, well, those might be cool. I think this is a fireplace. One of those heaters. That's what that is. Huh. And this is probably a refrigerator it's wrapped up pretty nicely but it it feels like a refrigerator litter I don't know what else I see a Ryobi that's a weed eater that looks like a bag for a lawnmower so I think our all-in cost on this taxes the fees uh, I think is right at 516 so it's a little up there in cost too, but I think it may be worth it offhand. It feels pretty good. So I'm gonna get maybe a few things in the back of the truck and then we'll stretch this out over the next four days. Well, I don't know, what's today? So we'll stretch it out over the next three days. We'll try and get it all emptied out by Saturday. The, um, I just I just opened up the case it's right here I've placed my gloves strategically to kind of say that what was in here is not what I thought was gonna be in here but you know, it's definitely something else so I'm gonna move these items but it's a lot of miscellaneous electronic equipment hard drives yeah who, who knows what else it may have been there's the screen I don't know I don't know I don't know <laughs> so I managed to get the leather jacket out it's pretty cool uh, it's all embroidered I have a dream MLK lining it's really clean fur hood lining you know it zips on and off you know i don't know it's pretty neat so i've thrown in about six leather jackets maybe five leather one suede fur lined jacket all pretty nice fortunately most of them are 2xl uh the smallest one which is i think just uh, extra large uh, but i also just pulled out uh, motorcycle helmet with face mask and I've actually gotten something similar out of a unit before but with eBay it seems like you can't really sell used helmets for motorcycles but I have sold these and I think in the past when I always get them I sell them on Facebook marketplace oh and look here's a firebox oh look look at that How about that? How about that? <laughs> That'll be cool to go through. I'm pleased. I uh, definitely think this is a blessing on us. This is a good one. Next cool find, we just pulled this out. I mean, it's pretty neat looking. Probably some battery issues. But 1987. Nine, right there. 1987 clock needs some issues of course but i think it's still a pretty cool find scary update what i wasn't hoping for pool rack pool cues please tell me there's not a pool table empty truck here at uh day two and remember there's a lot of stuff left so i just pulled out this jacket it's a Reebok 
this Reebok tag, it says, uh, this is the limited edition jacket designed by Jeff Hamilton. A lot of, lot of game patches. Uh, pretty neat looking. Dirty, but it can be cleaned. That's for sure. But that's pretty cool. And I pulled out uh, two fur coats and three more leather jackets. So I think we're up to... Uh, eight or nine on leather jackets now i went ahead and pulled the dresser out and i saw the bottom and i saw the bottom drawer open and it's it's all cards and this drawer is cards and open packs Harry Potter. Yeah, it's legit nasty Harry Potter. Cards. Cards. Here's some cards and some cards. Cards. Comet book. Turok. Valiant. Oh, look, there's the Rebirth of Superman. It's been opened, though. It's the light cover. Four cards. These look a little different. Oh, these are wrestling. That was a uh, Bill Clinton. All right. <laughs> and, uh, what was this one? Some other wrestling. And this one is a. Uh, Oh, it's cards. Whole thing's full of cards. Knew nothing about cards. So these were getting buried with some of that bark, but cool vintage toys. Um, you can see you know, Fisher Price toys made in the USA. Same thing on this, made in the USA. I also saw this got some stains uh, the vinyls tearing on the inside a little bit and you can see there but I'm still pretty cool his nose keeping them separated because this whole box got pine bark dumped on it from somewhere so I feel like the whole thing this is 1973 made in the USA kind of rattle so trying to Pull all this out. That's kind of cool. It looks like it's been melted in some areas. But uh, 1968 made in the USA. That's pretty cool too. We put all these separate in this container. Well, let's see what else we got. Uh, I didn't mean to pull that apart. Came from oh. classic Fisher Price apple. Uh, 1972. Not sure how well you can see that. Main USA. Ah, uh, what else? Look at that little guy. 1964. Those little noisemakers gone. Uh, family Feud. 1975 on the book. Bears, Pirates, and Silver Lace. That's kind of cool. So I just put in the truck. Uh, Nintendo game system and then a super nintendo game system you can tell it's got a good wheel sticker on it the controls and everything are in there and then this box i just pulled out it's a lot of xbox games xbox 360 which should mean maybe 
there's an xbox 360 machine in there somewhere so we're running out of light and room we're going to start packing stuff back into the garage but i just pulled this out it's a pretty cool find it's a tommy armor golf bag i have no clue who he is or if he's any good but we got some callaway some callaway iron set the big bertha it looks like we're all back in there callaway steel head tight lies there's the tommy armor putter taylor made tight lies taylor made it's a lot of clubs in here but it looks like a pretty complete set with just the callaways and i'm not even sure what's in the bag and there's another golf uh golf set golf bag golf golf bag full of clubs uh all the way up in the top but we don't have anywhere to put it so i'm gonna have to leave it and get it for tomorrow this is where we're ending there's that lady Hi. it's day three back at it and we got the van with us so Chrissy's dad's come to help us with his warehouse van and uh, we found the Xbox that goes with that so let's take a look huh? gonna be millionaires beanie babies Four. <laughs> it's all furniture that's left. Some dryers, freezers, couch in the back, chairs. Stuff. Junk. It's probably all trash there. The van's getting good and loaded. See Ethan Allen rocking chair. That's pretty good. And uh stuff. It's a guitar. Funkos. At a loss for what everything is. It's just out of the storage unit and loaded. When we got everything back to the house and started unloading it, we kind of made two piles, stuff that I definitely wanted to sell online. And then there was stuff that, um, it was nice stuff. It was, it, it was stuff people would buy, but nobody's gonna pay, you know, a few bucks for it, plus $10 shipping or, or something like that. So we decided to have a yard sale. And we walked out of the, yard sale with about $455 in our pockets just in the yard sale. There was also this Ethan Allen piece uh, that I sold online and, and a couple people wanted me to break it up. Uh, it was the two side pieces and then the middle cabinet and everybody wanted the two side pieces but not the big armoire. Uh, so this couple actually up in Kennesaw bought the whole thing full asking price uh they loaded up the side pieces and said they were going to come back and get the middle that that was all they had room for on their truck they never came back of course but that was 250 bucks either way you know, they paid the asking price so we'll throw that back in the total but the most astounding piece is this knife um and there were a lot of knives in the lockers, a lot of military stuff and I thought, and here are the pictures of it, it's just a regular, ordinary looking knife, nothing impressive. And then I noticed the Cutco label on it, and that I know is a good brand. So I looked up some other solds, and I put it online, and it sold for, uh, I think, 120 uh, I'll put the exact amount here, but it just blew my mind. It was such a plain and ordinary knife for it to go... Uh, for so much money. Aside from all the video games and the endless supply of baseball and football and sports cards that are in the locker, uh, I opened one of the boxes a moment ago and I found all of these. 
and at first thought, I was thinking, uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, this is something I just picked up at a yard sale. Sell-through rate was great. Paid 20 bucks for it. So, anyways. Um, but I thought it was really cool. Then I start looking at all of them. And they all have some sort of flaw. Of something's broken. Missing a hand. And this one and this one are actually music boxes and the music box doesn't work on either of them. Uh, missing a tower piece here, missing some pieces here, his face is gone here. This one's complete, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this one's intact, so that's not too bad. This guy was actually broken, but I, I fixed the hook and got it working. His hand was missing, but I actually was able to glue it back on. It was in the box. But I think there's supposed to be more of these little, you know, probably dragon eggs in those areas. That's what it looks like. Um, and this guy is pretty good. This guy, I think, is complete. It's not broken, even though I think... You know, his head's gone and his belly looks funny. But I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be holding some, some sort of ball right there. And his head would look like it's sticking into the ball. Uh, I don't know where that is. I was thinking about getting a Magic 8 ball and putting it on there and see if it would fit. Uh, I'm still going to list them all. And they'll all probably still sell. Um, but the price will be much lower because, you know, there's imperfections on them. But there are still collectors, fortunately. Uh, for this sort of stuff, even when it doesn't work. I do want to point out that the locker got me my first uh, blow mold Santa Claus. Uh, so everything's there, it lights up, it's complete. So excited about that. And over here in this box are two Wii's. Um, maybe I should have pulled this up. Well, here's one of the other ones. I've actually hooked them both up. They do work. They do come on. Um, and there are additional controllers in here. Xbox. Uh, it's this. That's a Wii Fit board. Um, there are a lot of, there are a lot of uh, Redbox movies in here. I have a whole stack on the other side. But there's a lot of specific controllers. Types of stuff. Here actually, I said I didn't have an Xbox One, but here actually is the Xbox One. I think it's the, looked it up, it's the Green Halo Edition. And so I haven't plugged this one up yet uh, to check it out. But it's here. My original intention with this video was that at the end, I would do some screenshot grabs, grabs, of everything that has sold so far out of the locker that I haven't shown you in the video. However, when I pulled the report just to list everything by the custom SKU, it was about 120 items. And then that's not including uh, what's been listed on Macari and Poshmark. <laughs> so it's, it's been a myriad of stuff from Zippo lighters to figurines to clothes to videos to some comic books that were in there, graphic novels, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. So it's been a really good locker. How profitable though? I'm not sure. I haven't run the numbers yet. Uh, so I will, and I'll put them up here and I'll be surprised uh, just like everybody else. Like, oh, look at that. So who knows? I'm excited to see, but this has been a really good locker. I know this has been a long video and I appreciate you sticking it out this far. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know there's been some delay in videos, but I've tried to change what I was doing a little bit to actually get stuff sold out of the lockers so that I'd have something to talk about as far as how profitable it is before actually posting the videos. So now that I've got some months uh, in between when I actually clean the locker out and listed stuff and making the videos, hopefully there'll be a little bit more information to share. So please continue to come back and check out our videos and uh, like and subscribe, of course, and we'll see you next time.
Look, I still have that freezer. Remember the one with the back end that got caved in? Still haven't done anything with it. It's still sitting right there.